Nigerian, successful Nigerian government have ignored the youth. No one cares about youth. No one cares about our women. Politicians take care of themselves. And because they share the money among themselves and just give peanuts to the Nigerian youth, the highly educated Nigerian youth, whom we train and spend a lot of money to train, cannot contest for anything in this country because they don't have money, because they have monetized Nigerian politics. Not supposed to be so. We have great leaders among youth if they give an opportunity. And President Muhammad Buhari will go overseas and tell the world that we have idle youth. Nigerian youth are not idle. Nigerian youth have been denied systematically by uh, succeeding government, including the government of President Muhammad Buhari. We have over 20 million youth, I mean graduate youth, who are unemployed. They are not employed. Some graduated for 20 years, some for 14 years, some for, for, for 10 years, no job. And then we have over 80 million Nigerians who are unemployed. Asians and Europeans have been uh, exploiting Africa, Nigeria inclusive, since the 13th century. And Nigerian wealth, our resources are inexhaustible. We still have them. But we are styled by the international community as the poverty capital of the world. Simply because we have a class of politicians who do not care what happened to our youth, what happened to Nigeria tomorrow. Any country that ignores its youth, that country has shot itself on the foot. When you shoot yourself on the foot, you can walk. Yes. Nigeria cannot walk until the youth are empowered. I have a program for the youth because I know that any family that has children and does not care about training those children, does not care about what happened to this children today and today, then these children don't have a tomorrow. Even though you're married, you have a wife, you have children, if your children are ignored, forget about your family, your family will go extinct. You can, if they survive at all, they will survive as maybe mentally uh, uh, person, men, uh, uh, madmen or madwomen, will we'll be useless to the society. We'll be ignoring the Nigerian youth. And by the grace of God, I am going to be the president of this country, and the youth will become empowered. leaders of tomorrow. I was told this in primary school in the 1960s. I was told this in secondary school in the 1960s. I was told this in, when I was in the university in 1971, 72, 73. Now I am 70 by December last year. I'm not yet a leader. So when do you when do youth become leaders of tomorrow? When Nigeria is recycling the same person, the same people or family members since 1960 to date and made our youth completely hopeless and helpless. It will not happen during my time. When I become the president, if I make a, a, an elder, an experienced elder, not these corrupt ones, an experienced elder, a minister. The minister of state must be a youth, either a female youth or a male youth. <laughs> if I make an experienced elder, a chairman of a parasitter, 
the majority of the members of the of the uh, of the committee will be female and male youth because the youth must we will not just say they are leaders of tomorrow they will start being leaders this 19 this 2019 the youth will start being leaders as soon as I Not just that, we are training the youth to have their hands on leadership, to learn how to manage men and resources. But also because the next 30 years from now, 1950 to 2050, the population of Nigeria is going to be over 400 million human beings. We are only between 180 to 190, yet, an experienced president like Muslim, uh, President Muhammad Buhari cannot cope with the challenge of insecurity in this country. Nigerians are being killed all over the country. Nigerians are being kidnapped. He is helpless. He has not been able to arrest even one person and try him for killing a fellow Nigerian. Nigerians are killed in the, in the, in the, in the, in the churches. Nigerians are killed in the, in the, in the mosque. Nigeria kids in their homes, Nigeria kidnapped on the highway, killed on the highway. An experienced president like Muhammad Buhari is helpless. How do you expect a youth who graduated 20 years ago, 30 years ago, and has no job to learn how to manage men and resources, and are becoming governor or president, to be able to manage over 400 million people in the next 30 years from now. now. That's why I say, ignoring the Nigerian youth, Nigeria is shooting herself on the foot. All of us who are 70 now, the next 30 years, how old shall we be, even we are alive? It is this youth of 20 years old, 25, 30, 35, 40, that will be managing Nigeria when Nigerian population gets to over 400 million people. So what do people like Atiku doing? What are people like Osi Banjo, Buhari? What are they doing to prepare the youth, to prepare Nigeria for the next 30 years? Do you see why these people should not be voted in? It's not a question of party. It's not a question of Brotherhood is a question of Nigeria. Who will really manage this country? They can do it. Gone are the days we just elect a president for the sake of having a president because the constitution requires a president. train my youth in these technology villages. Whether we like it or not, um, we are going to induce technology, te technology development in this country. The next four years, our youth will start innovating all kinds of things. We will train the youth in, in uh, educational technology, agricultural technology, aviation technology, motor vehicle technology, all kinds of technology, even forestry, fishing, everything. The next four years, Nigeria is going to be a technologically advanced nation. Whether we like it or not, I'm going to invest heavily, massively, in this, uh, this uh, uh, pilot project. Our youth will become productive. When the oil dries up, when the, uh, the oil price goes down, the Nigerian youth will become the next oil, uh, the next economic boom of Nigeria. Japan has no oil. China has no oil. India has no oil. 
but the technological advance, and they are very far ahead of Nigeria. Why? Because they have invested in their youth, and it's their youth that are responsible for the development of technology of India, technology of China, and the technology of, of Japan. In four years, Nigeria is going to be like Japan. No longer will my youth be called lazy youth. That is, Buhari's youth are, 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 are lazy. General, both youth are going to be vibrant and productive.